Okay, here we are. Pan about home. I right, go take a look inside. Went through the front door. We had the main hallway here. See the beautiful walls and car decking on the ceiling. Got the water heater and this is uh, one of the bedrooms. Nice walls and ceiling in here. Closets. Continuing on to bedroom number two. Got the same thing. Just a nice cedar look everywhere. And a bathroom. Pretty good size, six feet wide. They tried to finish it off, so we'll see how that turns out. Let me rip that out. Closet area here could be finished. Then we go into the main area and start with the kitchen. Got the kitchen area here, cabinets, appliances, sink. Like, ready to go. Then you have the dining area, and you have, this is the great room, so you have a really high vaulted ceiling, 19 feet high at the peak, one of three wood stoves, got a deck here, insert your own view, Okay, and then we see, as we go back in, the stairs going up to the loft. A lot of nice wood. Here's the bottom of the landing. And then the stairs here, four by, I'm not sure exactly what they are, they're covered in carpet. Probably just two by. Here we have the beams sticking out to hold up the law. And here's your view from up here. Got a closet here, a little bit of storage space here. There's one of number two wood stove. More more and more exposed wood. Kind of got a closet area here, and then one, another one right there. So the floors we're gonna be ripping up and throwing all this old carpet away and so on. Bathroom up here is pretty nice, pretty good size. So. In the ceilings. Let's take a look downstairs. Okay, so we're heading downstairs. Foundation not included. Number three wood stove. And we have just a plain area down here. This door is pretty nice. Dutch door. I've never tried, actually. Assuming it, which I mean, had to do with one hand. Um, got a nice 6x12 beam there. Here's the storage area. You've got a workbench. You know, some miscellaneous shelving and cabinets. And uh, you've got a piano, which don't ask me why that's sitting here. I'm going to be complaining about that. Um, gas furnace. With all those wood stoves, we have a gas furnace. The gas uh, ducting only seems to feed the first floor. Um, 
electrical panel. We had this is where they had the laundry. You got it. it looks like a couple of cabinets and so on. And then you see the ceiling. Here we are with more beams again. And I believe the floor above here is just plywood in this case. So, but these are some nice beams. You've got the main beam going through the 6 by 12 holding the whole thing up. Yeah, there's some plywood you can see there. And let's go see the sheds. Okay, we see shed number one here. Seems like a decent little guy. Not sure what I'm going to do to get that apart. It's on skids, but it's also on a steep hillside. Shed number two is bigger and uh, yeah. okay, so we have shed number one there. Here's shed number two. Both of them have metal standing seam roofs. It says uh, cedar shake siding shingle siding and then the inside seems like it's in decent shape Floor. Um, let's go look at the outside of the house okay I'm back to the beginning back to the front you can see the siding is in great shape it is timbers they're, they're, it's not siding um, standing seam metal roof several metal bestus or similar pipes for the wood stoves. Got the front deck which is two by six pressure treated it looks like. More of that nice railing. And as you go around the house all the support beams, the floor, and the roof. Big overhangs, large overhangs that help protect the house all these years. It's a nice feature. Here is the standard timber. And I think it's three and a half by seven and a half. I will measure that later. This side. Um, the foundation will remain after we're done, at least for a time, so there would be time to measure it and duplicate it. Not necessarily its pitch or its slope, but maybe duplicate the uh, size of it. So here we are looking at the front and the deck. I don't know. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this wall. But here is the decking. Nice uh, pressure treated 2x10s it looks like. 5 quarter decking. Here's the main support beam. And here we are looking at the front deck. So we'll see how those beams work out. And that's it.